Hello students, welcome. Previously, lesson 6, form 3, topic 3, we were dealing with the alkenes and we have seen nomenclature and naming of alkenes compounds. So today, lesson 7, we want to proceed to the drawing of structures of alkene compounds. Examples. Number 1, we are told draw the structure of each of the following compounds. So part A, we're having three ethyl bent one in. So I've written the answer there. Let me just try to explain. First of all, I have to know my parent name. My parent name is bent one in. What does that mean? That means my parent name has five carbon atoms. So that's the five carbon atom. Next, I have to know it. Where is the double bond? It's in carbon number one. So I can put the double bond here or I can put the double bond there, whichever you like. So let me put it here. Then show the remaining bonds in each carbon. So it will be like that. So there is an attachment here. It is ethyl attachment and it's placed in carbon number three. So if this is carbon number one, carbon number two, carbon number three is here. So I can put the ethyl attachment here or this other side, whichever you feel like to put. So let me just try to put down here. And how do you write ethyl? You can write ethyl C2H5 in that format. Or what you can do is you can write it in CH2, CH3 form like that. If you don't want to do it like that, what you can do is that you can put here CH2, then you come another bond, you write CH3. There's only one attachment here because only one hydrogen has been replaced by an alkyl group, which is ethyl group. So you put the remaining all hydrogen, 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 hydrogen. So I have drawn it open structural formula. So you, you can draw an open structural formula or condensed structural formula as I've written there. Okay, we proceed to question B. 1B, we are told, uh, draw the structure of one cholera to methyl bent 2 in. So the parent name has five carbon. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So check, we have the double bond in carbon number 2. So carbon number 1, carbon number 2, the double bond is here. Then we have two attachments. So one is called color, the other one is methyl, methyl attachment. So the color is in carbon number one, so carbon number one is here, so we put it here. So the other attachment is in carbon number two, so the methyl attachment is here. Check each carbon, it is uh, bonds. So this carbon here is having four bonds. So one bond, it has bonded with one chlorine, the attachment. Two bonds, it has bonded to these hydrogens. Then the fourth bond is bonded to this carbon. So this side is okay. So this other carbon is having four bonds, as you can see, one, two, three, four. Then this carbon here, it's having two here, another one here, and another one it's bonding with this hydrogen. So this carbon here is bonding one here, the other one here, and the other bonds for this two hydrogen. And this carbon here is bonding one to this carbon atom, and the remaining three is bonding to that hydrogen. So you can draw the structure of one color two methyl bent two in like this or you can put it in open structural formula like this so bent we say is having five carbon so we can draw it like this this is the five carbon so the double bond is in carbon number two so show the, the remaining bonds so it will be something like this we are going to have something like this so we are told the first Attachment is in carbon number one. So what I can do is I can put the color attachment there. Then the other attachment is in carbon number two. Carbon number two is here. So I can put the methyl attachment here. So I fill the rest with hydrogen. So when I draw it like this, I draw it the structure in open form or in open structural formula. But what you can do is you can draw in open structural formula or condensed structural formula like this. Okay. We proceed to the third we are told draw one bromo three ethyl benzene. So when you are told benzene, they have not shown the number to which the double bond is placed. You assume that it is in carbon number one. Okay, so this is how we draw. Let's confirm it. So we are having the barrett name five carbon atoms. Benzene, pent stands for five carbon atoms. One, two, three, four, five. 
So we're having two attachment. One is in the first carbon, one boron. That attachment is boromine. Then we are told ethyl attachment is in carbon number three. Carbon number one, carbon number two, carbon number three. So this is ethyl attachment. When you add, what you have here will be C2H5. And remember, ethyl came from methane. Ethane was written like this. So when it removes one hydrogen, we are going to get C2H5. So that's ethyl attachment. We proceed, we go to isomerism in alkenes. And we're saying alkenes also show isomerism. There are two types of isomerism shown by alkenes. These are, number one, we're having positional isomerism. So we're saying the position of the double bond can change from one carbon to another in the molecule, leading to the formation of positional isomers. Examples. So we want to do the positional isomerism for butene, benzene, and also hexene. Let's start with butene. Remember, we said isomers are compounds that have the same molecular formula but different structural formula. So the molecular formula for butene is C4H8. So this is the first one. So what, I, what we are going to do is that we are going to put the double bond in the first carbon. So the name of this compound will be put one in because we are told you have to draw the structure as well as you have to name. So the next what I'm going to do is I want to change the position of the double bond from one carbon to another in the molecule. So I have to take from the first carbon and put it in the second carbon. So it will be here. So when you name this, it will be put to in because this is the first carbon, the second carbon where the double bond is attached to. So if you count from this side even, it will be carbon number one, carbon number two, this is the double bond. So this will be put to in. So that means butene has only two positional isomers. One is put one in, the other one is put two in. We go to benzene. So benzene, we are having the first one. We are going to put the double bond in the first carbon. One, two, three, four, five. So this is called pent one in. So the other one, we have to put it in the second carbon. It is here. So to name this, this will be bent two in. If we check the number of carbon atoms and the number of hydrogen atoms in these two structures, they will be the same. So if we check the number of carbon atoms here, it will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, that's C5. Then 2 plus 1 is 3 plus 2, that's 5 plus 2, 7 plus 3, 10, that's C5, H10. If we check this one, the molecular formula for this structure, we are going to have 3 hydrogen plus 1, that's 4, plus 1, 5, plus 2, 7, plus 3, 10. So they are going to have the same molecular formula, but they have a different structural formula. So just like butene, even benzene has only two positional isomers, which is pent one in and also pent two in. So if we try to take this double bond from this second carbon and we we'll put it on this other carbon, so that we think that whether we can get pent three in, it won't work because we have to count from this side, from right to left. So to do one, two, which we have already written here, bent two in. So we proceed to the third. That's hexene. So hexene has C6H12 as it is molecular formula. So the first one, we have to put the double bond in the first carbon. We name this as hex one in. So it's having six carbon. One, two, three, four, five, six. So next, we have to take the double bond from the first carbon to the second carbon, and we name this hex2in. So the third, we have to take from the second carbon, we put it in the third carbon. So it will be here. So if I read, this will read, like naming of this compound will be hex3in. If you read, this is the first carbon, second carbon, third carbon, where the double bond is. If you read from this side, first carbon, second carbon, third carbon, where the double bond is. So that means we're having hex 3 in. So hexene has three positional isomers. One is hex 1 in, hex 2 in, and hex 3 in. So it doesn't have another one. So we proceed next. Branching isomerism. So we're saying this occurs when a substituent group, that's alkyl group, is attached to one of the carbon atoms in the longest chain containing the double bond. Examples. So here we want to do part A, butene. Butene is having C4H8 as it is molecular formula. 
So let's check the first the first branch in Sudirzi. It will be just the long chain for that butene. So we are going to say this is but one in. So we are placing the double bond in the first carbon. So for us to do branching, we are having initially four. We have to remove one. When we remove one, for me to do the second isomer, I will remain with three carbon. And make sure the first carbon will have a double bond or in between the first two carbon atoms, we are supposed to have a double bond. Then let's show the bonds. So remember, we are having only three carbon. So we're remaining the fourth and we are making the fourth to be attachment. So that one will be obviously placed there. Then the rest we are going to put hydrogen, 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 hydrogen. So this will be the isomer for butene. The second isomer. So to name this, the longest chain will be having one, two, three. That's propene or or prop one in. If you say propene or prop one in, they will be one and the same. Then the attachment there is methyl, which is in carbon number two. So we are having two methyl prop one in. So we proceed to benzene. So benzene, the first isomer will be bent one in where we are going to put the double bond in the first carbon or in between the first and the second carbon so to name this it will be bent one in if you count one two three four five so for me to draw the second one i have to remove one carbon so i'm going to remain with four four like this then i put the double bond in between the first two so i show the remaining bonds so what i can do is that I am remaining with one carbon, so I want to make that one as an attachment. So what I can do is I can put in the first in the first carbon and I put all hydrogen, 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 hydrogen everywhere. So to name that compound, so it will be two methyl, two methyl. The longest chain here will be put, then dash. I'm going to have one in because the double bond is placed in the first carbon. This is one isomer, the second isomer of benzene. So the third isomer, what we are going to do is we will remove the methyl attachment there. We will put either this side or this side, that in the third carbon. So if we put here or here, maybe if we put it here, here will be hydrogen and the rest will be hydrogen. So to name this compound, it will be three methyl, but one in, it will be three methyl because you see, the double bond is in the first carbon so that means this attachment will be in the third carbon so we are going to have something like that so let's see the answers so the second isomer will be two methyl but one in what we have done is we have removed one carbon so that we make that one carbon to be an attachment so we just drew butene and we put the, the double bond in the first carbon or in between the first two carbon then we are going to put our attachment in the second carbon so to name this it will be two methyl but one in so what we are going to do the third is that we we'll just change this attachment the position of this branch we put it in the third carbon it will function so to name that it will be three methyl but one in so what we have done is that we have just placed the hydrogen which is here then we, we have removed one hydrogen there then we replace with an attachment called methyl attachment so this one and this one and also this one they have the same molecular formula so lastly what we can do is again <coughs> we can take the fourth isomer of benzene to be pent to in we can have pent to in where the double bond will be placed in the second and the third carbon when we are writing the name it will be pent to in thereafter what we can do again the fifth isomer will be from we are going to remove one one carbon so i'm going to remain with only four carbon and remember this time the double bond is in between carbon number two and carbon number three so show the bonds when we show the bonds it will be looking like this so if it's like this i have an option because we are told attachment of alkyl cannot be placed in the first carbon as well as in the last carbon so what I'm supposed to do is I can put the methyl attachment here or here. So which side, the side that we put, it, it will be just the same. Because when I put it here, it will be two methyl but one, two in.
So if you put it here, it will be the same because it will be from 1, 2. So it will be again 2 methyl put 2 in. So we can put here. If you don't put it here, you put it there. But the answer will be the same. So we are going to see that here. The, the, the fifth isomer of benzene will be 2 methyl but 2 in. What we have done is we have removed one carbon. When we have removed one carbon, we are going to remain with four carbon. And the double bond will be in between the second and the third carbon. Then here we are remaining, we are having one hydrogen. We remove that hydrogen, then we will replace, then we will replace with an attachment called methyl attachment. If you don't replace this hydrogen with the methyl attachment, what we can do is we will replace with this hydrogen, the methyl attachment. So the answer will treat the same and it will be still two methyl but two in. Those are the branching isomers of benzene. So we got extended question. Question number one, we are told draw a name the structure of all the possible branched isomers of hexene. So you are supposed to try this and you can submit your answer on the comment section. So that I see. So thank you. That's the end of our video today.